stands for carbon, and this one is carbon, the bottom one is also carbon. Also, uh, put a chopstick in between. Okay, so that chopstick basically is a uh, single bond. So you, if you see, if I rotate, it's freely rotating, right? This uh, uh, either of the uh, apple can be rotated very free, uh, freely. You know, if I fix the bottom one, top one can also be uh, rotated. Okay, but if I put another bond on, another chopstick, uh, let's see what's going on for for this situation. Okay, so these two chopsticks uh, represent two bonds, right? If you want to rotate right now, you will see twist, right? Twist, twist, twist until you know you basically you will break it. If you if you have more strength than, than I, I have, right? <laughs> you will break the chopsticks. Okay, so that means you know unless you break the double bond, you will not rotate it. Okay, in order for it to rotate, you have to break it. So that's the reason that why double bond cannot rotate. Of course, if you put another chopstick, that's triple bond. It's the same situation as a double bond. You cannot rotate at all. 